welcome to Edward Cigar from Sofia. Thank you, Alexandra, and thank you for being here. Uh, I'm co-founder Edward Sergar of Sofia, and my uh, guru, digital marketer, Genia Werner, who, who still works at Momondo, but he's also co-founder for Sofia. Today, I want to talk to you about our future. Our future, well, some, of, some people, like at, people at Oxford, think that 45% of uh, US jobs will be destroyed by automation and artificial intelligence within the next 20 years. And they predict this will occur in two waves. The first wave is visible right now. Um, like this factory in China uh, automated 90% of their workforce uh, replaced them by robots and their productivity soared in China. Uh, the second wave, because of artificial intelligence, will hit the white collar jobs. Uh, for example, FedEx will replace 100% of their pilots by drones. Uh, this will hit also the medical field like uh, radiology, oncology and, and surgery, uh, legal field and financial uh, software and so on. The AI guru tell us machines will kill our jobs long before they kill us, so we don't have to worry too much. <laughs> Education is not helping. Bloomberg did a study of 700 US companies uh, asking them what skills they were looking for the most, but they couldn't find them. And there's two, creative problem solving and strategic thinking. Now these two types of skills are also the ones that AI cannot replace. And our mission at Sofia is to boost the skills that AI cannot replace. Our first target will be the students in science, technology, engineering, and math, because these are the ones who are at the forefront of innovation and, and uh, technology. And we all remember how hard it is to study. Now, when I ask my students, what do you do to get good grades? They say, we work hard, right? And we're teaching skills for jobs that won't exist. So there is a better way. What if you had an app that could teach you these two types of skills, where uh, you could explore deep challenges and learn creative problem solving and strategic thinking by exploring different types of challenges that are so deep that they give you a lot of, you need a lot of creativity to solve them. Uh, Sophia will help you do that and you will explore different phases of these challenges and by doing so in a very dynamic, uh, way, Sophia will help you understand the learning process. I did five years of observations as a professor of math and physics in the US, and one of these years was spent doing an experiment with Sophia on physics students on a university course. The result was that my students had 4.33 out of 5 compared to the US average of 2.32. So using Sophia didn't at least uh, heard their, their scores in the exam. But Sophia is not to boost your, your exam score specifically, but to boost your understanding, which is much more fundamental because all the content that you learn in the exams, you forget two weeks after you get out of school or university, but the skills you learn forever. We're currently doing an experiment with three professors at Lund at different levels of, of STEM disciplines. And our business model is a software as a service, B2C, uh, we charge $4 for students per month, and the first level would be free, so it's a freemium model. The Brain Booster app market right now is 400 million, but it will grow to 3 billion within five years, so it's 700% growth, not bad in five years. So how do we get this market? Well, we look at the, the searches in Google that are relevant to Sophia, what Sophia offers, the type of uh, creative problem solving, strategic thinking, and so on. And there's 10 million searches annually on the three main <coughs> search engines, uh, Google, Yahoo, and that other one, right? <laughs> so, and this, these searches are increasing, which means that people are getting more and more concerned, 15% increase year over year. So by doing an analysis of the, the, the redirection of the traffic and how much conversion we get by in industry standards, we estimate that within five years, we can get 40 millions in revenues. How do we differentiate ourselves to, uh, compared to other systems? Well, 
most systems are group in two categories. The first one is the intelligence boosters, IQ, SAT, Lumosity, and so on. Uh, they're, they're competing against supercomputers and Watson, and they we're getting crushed by these machines already. So I'm not sure why we're still doing that. On this slide here of knowledge, uh, you have traditional e-learning and training, which is heavy on knowledge, but not so much on understanding. And this is getting, we're getting crushed here by the cloud and the Googles of the world. Now, Sophia doesn't care what your IQ is or how many Googles you have in your pocket. The only thing that Google, Sophia cares about is how much you understand your own thinking process. So we're looking for a beta to reach uh, an investment of uh, $100,000. The hard part here is done. Over the past five years, the AI engine has been developed and works perfectly fine. So we need now to finish it up, instructional design, AI content learning, uh, do the app, MVP to 1.0 and go to market. This revolution is very different from every other revolution. All industrial revolutions had a saturation point in terms of productivity. Uh, machine learning revolution are, is incredible because the machine power is doubling every 18 months and we're at the beginning of this cusp here where machine intelligence is exploding. So we want to be on the right side of that revolution. So we want to revolutionize why, how, and what we learn. And I welcome you to join us in this adventure and come to talk to me after this talk. Thank you.